Hello everybody, if you don't watch JJ vlogs then you wouldn't know that Jonathan is gone to Mexico for about a week and last night was our first night without him. It was rough to say the least. I don't know if I'm pregnant and like that's why I'm so emotional but I miss him so much and it's just sad i need to get ready i'm gonna get ready while i talk to you guys because we actually have a few things that we need to do today so first and foremost i feel like jonathan has grown into his dad role so beautifully and also along with that into his husband role when i was pregnant with franco he was like a great husband but it obviously was not the same as now now that i'm pregnant with baby girl he's not only such an amazing husband but the way that he has just taken on so much of being a dad to Franco. He like does nap time, he does bedtime routine, he plays with him, he takes his energy out. He's just been such an incredible dad and such an incredible husband. I feel like this year for us has been life changing in the best way possible. You know, we're all people, we're always changing, we're always evolving, we're always learning new things and Jonathan is big on learning a lot about mental health and a lot about trauma with kids and, and kids' mental health. And I think along with that, he's also changed who he is as a person a lot and he's really grown. He just keeps changing so much that right now, I don't know, I feel like he's at his best. It's insane. I can't even put into words how I feel about this man because this is all I've ever wanted. <laughs> it's just crazy to me to think about when I was in high school and freshly in love with Jonathan, this is the life that I dreamt about. This is the life that I was like, oh, I can't wait till we have kids and we're living in our own house and we have all of these plans and we travel together and to be doing it is crazy. Right now, Franco is obsessed with Jonathan and He's older, you know, he's a toddler and I feel like obviously he knows a lot more now and when we leave he feels it so yesterday he was not having a very good day and I was like is it just because he like feels that Jonathan is leaving and then last night oh my goodness it was a hard hard night because for the last few months Jonathan has been in charge of bedtime routine Jonathan is the one that puts Franco to sleep, he's the one that showers him. Franco is so used to that and Franco is someone that thrives on routine. So as soon as Jonathan is done showering Franco, he obviously showers himself. So while Jonathan is showering, I'm getting Franco into his PJs, brushing his teeth. But as soon as I'm done brushing his teeth, he is just sitting patiently in the bed waiting for his dad to come out and when Jonathan comes out of the bathroom, he's like, papa, papa, see ya. That just means that he's ready to go in his chair and for Jonathan to rock him to sleep. Jonathan has like this routine with him where he like tells him a cool story. He doesn't count sheep, he counts wolves and they have this beautiful routine where, where Franco is in his steep sleep in less than 10 minutes and then Jonathan lays him down and Franco has a beautiful night's rest with no wake-ups like he does not wake up at all throughout the night so last night i go to put him to bed sit in the chair and he's like papa papa he's like vamonos vamonos which means like let's go he grabs my hand and pulls me out of the chair and he wants to go into the hallway and it was just a mess a real big mess girl because i had to keep explaining to him that papa wasn't here but he was not having it and he fell asleep like around 11 30 which is really late for him and then at 1 a.m he woke up crying and asking for jonathan and then i grabbed him i put him back on the rocking chair it was so sad because he was like crying like papa papa you know like asking for jonathan so then i was crying with him we were all crying girl i was not prepared to be this sad when jonathan left so yeah i just wanted to explain to you guys that i'm i'm not having a good time i miss him a lot and you know he's ahead of the house he like i don't know i feel like the house just doesn't work without him you know if i look or feel a little bit down it's because i am girl i'm stressed I'm sad. I can't say I'm tired because although Uncle ha woke up twice last night, he actually slept in till 9.20. So I slept in till 9.20 and then we just took his two hour nap together. So tired, I am not. Sad, I am. This house just does not feel like a home without him and 
like it's it's weird walking into our room and knowing he's not here like it's so different when i walk into the room and he's like at the gym or he's working like now i walk into the house and i'm like i'm not gonna see him until next year <laughs> what is the best way to ignore your sadness it's get out of the house we got a few things to do today so first and foremost if you guys don't know my suegra aside from the many many things she does because she's a therapist she's a mom she's amazing she is also a real estate agent and she just texted me and said that her closing got moved up to tomorrow so she asked me if i could make her client a basket like a home a welcome home basket and i'm like um if you know me you know i love making baskets so i was like absolutely the heck yes so we have a couple things to do i need to go get things to make a basket and then i need to go get franco's wagon and then we're gonna get some dinner and i'm gonna just take my mom and the girls and we're just gonna have a cute little outing even though it's freezing outside i don't care we need to get franco out of the house and distracted and by franco i mean me <laughs> let me finish getting ready and then we will see where the day takes us okay, my makeup is done i just did a little ponytail and let me show you guys a little haul jonathan and i went to the mall yesterday and at airy they were having a 30 percent off some items so i just got these cute ribbed pants and i got this cardigan <gasps> And then at Abercrombie, I got this little pullover that is so cute. And I also got a Broncos pullover, but I already used it. And then Jonathan got a two-piece set. I think I'm going to wear that today. So let me change. Can you see what I'm vlog? See? Diles hola, vlog. Okay. Diles hola. Okay, we're gonna do his hair. ¿Cómo te peinamos ahora, eh? Ah, ya. ¿Me quieres ayudar a peinarte? Sí. Entonces, ¿dónde tiene el pelo? No sé. Muy bien. ¿Necesitas un corte de pelo ya, mi amor? Sí. ¿Quieres cortarte el pelo? Sí. Sí. Okay. A ver, y listo. <laughs> Te amo. Vámonos. Let's head out. All right, guys, I lied. My sisters ditched us for their friends, pero estoy con mi mamá. Say hi, mamá. Hola. Y con Franco. Patos. Patos. We are at our first stop, which is Target. Franco, Franco. <laughs> we made it to dinner. We are at Sumo and we're gonna have dinner here. Got some Thai tea. ¿Quieres más? Oh no. Sorry, but our appetizers just got here. These are jalapeno bombs. So good. Okay, we are at Marshall's now and here to get some Marshall. cotton pads. These, I've been looking for them for so long and I couldn't find them until today. And there's only one box. These are my favorite, absolute Mama. favorite. Papa. Papa, Papa. Get us a Papa, mi amor. Uh, secure the goods made it home it is about to be franco's bedtime so i'm going to shower him i'm gonna give him a bath he's playing with my sisters and then i'll put him down for bed but it is a uh, bathtub washing day so i'm gonna give his little baby bath a full-on wash as i do once a week i would say i have so many of these that i just got one and i use it to wash the bath ¿Con quién juegas, pa? ¿Qué juegas? ¿Quién es? Magali. Magali. Y Nico. 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 Y Nico.
Ale nie! Kim jest pas? Nika. Nika. Guys, my sister got a haircut. Look at her. I'm looking like Edna and Nora. <laughs> I think it looks really good, actually. Ya te bañaste? Sí. Qué hermoso. Ya te limpié tus orejitas. ¿Quién es este? Tete. Mickey. Hermoso. Mickey Mouse. Muy bien. ¿Qué sigue? ¿Qué sigue después de que te peino? Saca la lengua. ¿Te sientes? Muy bien. Y listo. Listo. Diles hasta Está. mañana. Franco is down for bed, but he started feeling a little bit under the weather while we were out. So I put some vapor rub on his chest, his back, and his feet. And now I'm going to put a cool mist humidifier next to him. Let's do it. Look at my baby. He fell asleep with his tiger and his lion. They're his best friends, literally. He takes them everywhere. But I feel like it might be a little bit of a rough night if he's feeling sicky. So I'm gonna head up early today. I usually catch up on like vlogs and vlogmas and all of that, but I'd rather just be there next to him and take all my necessities like his cough syrup. So I'm gonna get the basket ready really quick and then I'm gonna send my sweater that picture so that she can approve or disapprove. At Target, I got two towels. These are my absolute favorite towels. I love these towels from Target. I use them religiously and so does Franco. I got this candle that's called the Silver Bells. Oh, it smells so good. I got them some chocolates. Got these two. Raspberry, dark chocolate raspberry, milk chocolate, Lindor balls. And then some Ferreros. You can never go wrong with these picks, I feel like. Oh, at Target, I just got dog food and some of these. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to try these for my hard work. Okay. Mm. Wow. So good. And then at Marshall's, I got finally my cotton pads. These are my absolute favorite ones. And they have not been in stock all month. And today, there was this was the only one. So... Thank God that I got them. Got them this little decoration for their new house. And then I just got some face razors. Marshalls, I got this basket here. So I think I'm gonna put the towels. This. Look at them. Okay, let me show you guys how it looks. But if you know me, you know that I crave something sweet every night. So today my pick of the day is un esquimal de nuez con nuez. You just can't, can't beat it. You cannot beat this. 